Right, greetings. So the purpose of these videos are to help you set up forms for your classroom so you can collect data from your students. And then finally, how to send the results back to the students. So the students are able to see it using the add-on Autocrat. So for this example, we're going to be taking an assignment I gave to my students, which were they had to watch the Bill Nye video about the moon and then answer some questions about the video. So in looking at the actual where I edit the Google form, um, I am using the old Google forms because there are some settings on there that are not quite yet on Google forms, but I might have to update this video once the new Google forms have caught up. Um, so I've already created the questions that I wanted to create for this form. Some of them are long answers, so they're the paragraph form. Some are multiple choice. Some are short answer. So I've got, it's all numbered all the way down. We've got 16 questions here. And the one thing I want to make sure that you take a look at is up at the top, I'm collecting, automatically collect, collecting the username of the students who are taking it. This is how I can tell who's taken it already. It's collecting it automatically. If you don't want to collect it automatically, then you need to have a question that says, please enter your name. Otherwise, you won't have any idea who's taking your survey. So I definitely recommend having collecting their username. Um, and in this case, this survey students have already taken it. So once they've taken it, their results go into a spreadsheet. So you can click on view responses and it will take you to the spreadsheet, which I have open over here. Um, so the spreadsheet, this column here I, is the username. That's where it's got their names. I've hidden that for now, but that's how I can tell who's taken the survey. And every one of the questions is a header. So this is question one, question two, question three um, from the survey. So all the, as I enter the questions, it goes into this nice spreadsheet. And before I go on to show you how to grade it, how I can return the results back to them, I just want to show you how I've graded them. So I can tell at a glance who's gotten a question wrong or right because of these colors where the green squares are. So what I've done is I've used conditional formatting. So when you right click or when you click up on the top of that or click on the letter E at the top of the column, it highlights the entire column. And when you right click, you can say conditional formatting. So when you go to conditional formatting, so now what I've set it to be, so when you click on it, it says that everything in this column, column E to E, that whole column, if it doesn't contain revolves, meaning the moon revolves around the Earth, um, then it needs to turn green. And you could change that to any color. It could be red, whatever color you want to do, how mad you want to be or not. Um, so that'll just show you. So I just, green is a default, fine. So that shows me just at a glance that everyone who answer is green means that they gave me the wrong answer. So I can tell looking down who wrote something correct and who didn't. So that's just a quick way as a teacher at a glance to see who was on the right track, who wasn't. Looks like most of them did pretty well in question five. I don't see anyone missing that one. So you can set them up. This is a way to use conditional formatting to do a quick glance over your results. So from here, we're going to be turning this spreadsheet into the data which we're going to be sending out to the students. So I recommend go on to the next video about setting up your template.